Hey Peaches, welcome to Previewed, where friends don't let friends celebrate Switchmas alone. I'm Adam. And I'm Jay. A happy day nine of Switchmas, everybody. Because today we're going to react, review, riff, and at the end we're going to rate the trailer for A Christmas Scavenger Hunt. Now let's be honest though, would not A Christmas Scavenger Hunt be kind of cool though? It would be kind of cool. And weirdly, okay. I, I, I love scavenger hunts. I do love scavenger hunts as well. I'm cautiously optimistic about this because that name is simultaneously terrible and good at the same time. Yes. You know? Like in our heads, we've already kind of written like, oh, that would be a, fu a scavenger hunt. That'd be fun. But this is a hallmark. Like a good one though. Like with clues. Ex exactly. Like I'm talking like national treasure level yes, scavenger of hunt. Course. Like, of course. Yeah, man. Yeah. Like, I want there to be some, like, Illuminati clues exactly. in my yes. Christmas scavenger hunt. And somebody hunting you while, like, <laughs> their scavenger hunt is your soul, and your scavenger hunt is for presents. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a scavenger hunt for little baby Jesus. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna get him. He's in a manger. But where? <laughs> All right. I'm buried under somewhere in New York because the Illuminati got him. <laughs> you know, hunt, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the Illuminati, they got little baby Jesus, and they're keeping him a little baby. Because they know what happens when he grows up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, can't let that happen. They're trying to, I mean, in a weird way, they're trying to save him. Yeah. yeah. But also, it's like, we can't have Easter. And the Easter Bunny's like, you gotta go save Easter. And then it's an Easter scavenger hunt, and that's not even a Christmas movie at that point. Yeah. Yeah. Although Easter is more important than Christmas. It's like a Nightmare Before Christmas kind of situation. It's like, oh. is it a Christmas movie? Is it a Halloween movie? It's well, a little bit of both. Well, technically, this is only going to be a Christmas movie if Christmas actually impacts... Well, the yeah. Hunt. Yeah. It's the kind yeah. of thing where Santa has got to come and save the day. Oh, or, or they got to learn the Christmas spirit. Yes. If it's just a scavenger hunt at Christmas, not a Christmas movie. No. Christmas has to play a part in the I, hunt itself. Yes. Well, before we find out, Die Hard's not a Christmas movie. Sorry, I said it. Oops. Oh, I, oh, I've it's heard not, some pretty good arguments that it is. It takes place during Christmas? No, no, because it has to take place during Christmas. Less people there, and the party was uh, uh, integral to the plan of the robbers. They needed so it. So what? Because it was a Christmas party. John McClane does not use his newfound Christmas spirit. Christmas spirit is not the only the reason why it can be a Christmas movie. Not, not, not this is not, not nope. That's not nope. what this is for. Okay, that's all the comments are going to be. Yeah. Now. I've, I've completely <laughs> you sank this video. Yeah, you unlocked the safe like they did at Nakatomi Tower. <laughs> Good job, Jay. The guy's name is Argyle. <laughs> It'll never not be a, the best name for a character. Who's named Argyle? Like, what? That's a print. I don't know. It's like, oh, my name's Houndstooth. Hello. All right. <laughs> On the ninth day of Switch, Miss Lashy brought to me a Christmas scavenger hunt. A welcome home Christmas. Yep. The Santa Squad. <laughs> <laughs> the Christmas Chronicles Part 2. A new... Good New job. York Christmas wedding, Christmas setup, right. mistletoe and menorahs, right. and Vanessa Hodgins, there's three. Well done. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Please be good. Our firm, its biggest client, he's got his heart set on a piece of property in your hometown of Deerfield. It would be ideal if you could close this before the end of the year. Merry oh, he's Christmas. Got a closing deals before Christmas. My eyes Christmas. deceive me. Is this an optical illusion? Good to see you, Dustin. I don't think that's fully truthful. Come on, it's been years since all that. Does Dustin still do the Christmas scavenger hunt? Yeah, he's the reigning champion. Oh, that's Tom right. Arnold, you guys what are you doing? Really doing? I remember. Dad. You went away to college and you left him. He broke my heart. The hunt starts tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. sharp. All right, let's pick some teams. Dustin Cooper, who is going to be your partner? I wonder who's he going to be. You've got to be kidding me. I is wonder. it just me or is this deja vu? I've been roped into the scavenger hunt with Dustin, of all people. That's right, that's how you guys first got together in high school. He thinks that we're going to be working together to restore the museum. Just let me know when you seal the deal. The sale, it, it just feels different. Ready, set, go! What I do doesn't normally affect the people that I know. I need you to bring your A-game today, okay? Someone's gotta take this team across the finish line. The hunt, so much problem solving and searching and finding. It's very enlightening, isn't it? I know that you yeah, think that I broke haircut. my promise about going the to college together like we planned. It's not because I didn't want to. 
because I couldn't. This changes everything. Oh, it changes nothing. I'm with Logan now. I, uh, I miss you too. <laughs> Not subtle. Okay. Okay. The scavenger hunt is to raise money for the building you need to close on. It's a really important part of this town's history. And it would get you your promotion. Are you losing focus here? You can't resist, you want to assist, open your heart, it's time to come together, not apart. It's not very specific. No. I don't want to be the Scrooge who sells everyone out. No, you just showed your job. Just find where your heart is. You agreed we to do the scavenger, even though you knew that you were going to save the museum. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Have faith. You never know what might happen this time of year. What do you have in mind? The dream team is reunited. I tried for so long to get over you. Well, we make a pretty good team. We do make a really good team. Wow, we are uncovering a lot on the scavenger hunt. Well, seriously, really didn't need that last moment. I was, okay, okay. Of the ones we've watched so far, I think this is the one that I'm most on board with. Because look, it's formulaic. It's, oh, sure. You know, this is what, th these are these movies. That's mm -hmm. how it works. But like, I want to live in a town that has a Christmas scavenger hunt. Don't you? That sounds fun. That sounds like an awesome tradition. Yeah, it does. That like everyone in town gets mm -hmm. involved and it's like a whole thing. I love it when towns have a th like a cool, silly thing that they all take very seriously. Mm -hmm. And also, maybe the most pleasant addition of Tom Arnold to anything. Yeah. Every time he was in a shot, I was like, "Hey, I like that you're here. I believe yes. you're. I believe yeah. you're her dad." Mm -hmm. Like that's some, he's giving some serious dad energy. Yeah, I mean, also I thought this was a little bit of a ripoff of a California Christmas. In what way? Because she works for a real estate seller, oh, well, yeah. and she's got to get a, a piece of land by Christmas Look, that's to close the a deal. But all, all of a sudden, all oh no, a, 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 a very attractive five o'clock shadowed man mm -hmm. shows up, and I was like, well, we used to date when we were in high school, and I kind of still got feelings for you, even though there was some miscommunication when we were teenagers, which is basically what being a teenager is. And now we kind of fall back in love. So mm -hmm. what are you gonna do? You're gonna follow through that land deal. You're gonna join back up with the town. Well, look, we're writing a, we're writing a Hallmark Christmas movie at this point. It's the law. You had to have something like that. You couldn't. They couldn't just be. It couldn't be just Christmas scavenger hunt. There has to be. Stakes? There are certain. No, I'm saying there are oh. certain. There are certain parameters in writing that screenplay that are just straight up federal law. Like you can't. Oh, okay. Like you're like, oh, it's the same thing. I'm like, yes, of course it is. I was like, yes, she has to be from the. One of them has to be from the big city, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and too business oriented, mm -hmm. with a rat face looking fiance, <laughs> man or woman, it doesn't matter. They gotta look like a rat. <laughs> She's like, I'm with Logan, and he's like, mm, Logan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, we're going to sell the historic home. Are <laughs> you losing focus? <laughs> I can't wait to be engaged. Oh, remember when we meet cuted when I tied you to the railroad tracks? It's me, Logan. <laughs> like, you got this law. It's just like, you know, I just, in these movies, I feel like the person playing, like, the, the kind of crappy uh, fiance should just be the same actor every time. <laughs> Well, that, That'd be a great running gag. That would be a great gag. Just a one year, maybe not next year, but maybe like 2022, Hallmark, yeah. uh, Mar Vista, Lifetime. Like, if you can, work with, find yeah. that one actor, talk to their agent, and like just book them out. Hey. It only take like, like a couple of days per movie because it's just there's there's always all a these phone shoots. Call. You're just rolling around. Yeah. Like, you could, on, you could shoot all your phone calls in one day. Yes, it's just pick a room and just pick a degree around oh, the room because it's just phone calls and then maybe a meet at, in Adam, person at the beginning and you're done. Adam, we need to be on this creative team. <laughs> like, so bad. Get Mar Vista on the horn. I want to meet some C-list celebrities. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I feel like we've got the the, the knowledge and the know-how and the gumption to to make some bill. It'd be fun. <sighs> I want to hang out with Tom Arnold. That'd be yeah. He's probably sober now. It wouldn't be fun. I'm not sure. <laughs> so you know, he's great. Get a great time. <laughs> Just saying, we could do this. Yeah. Both right. write a movie and crush the Christmas. Oh, I'm just saying. Hunt. I'm saying we, we're gonna meta game, or it's like gonna be the meta. Oh yeah, like it's gonna be a whole season. And I think people would appreciate it too, yeah. because at this point it's becoming trophy, and people would appreciate a little bit of a. Like I love it in the in the uh, Princess Switch movies when the uh, cr the Christmas Prince people show up. I'm like, yes, good, good. Let's world build. Yeah. Oh man, ooh. 
I mean, there's a reason why all these protagonist uh, women should be dumping this guy because yeah. he is, I mean, 30 timing them because he's dating all these very business oriented <sighs> yeah, 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 women because yeah, 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 they're yeah. all busy, so he's got time to. Yeah, no, he's got to have the same name. Oh, no, yeah, it's no, got to be the same, the person. same it's guy. It's the same guy, yeah. Oh, yeah. His job is dating all of those women and throughout then the, the year. The final movie is him. Like actually it's, finding he's the pro, he's the protagonist. He's the one, his like Christmas problem is that like he's got this like big Christmas dinner at home and he, he's trying to bring one of his one nineteen of the thir- fiancés yes. <laughs> yes. to the thing and nobody wants and no, they're yeah, all they all broke up with him. They all broke up with him. And it's, and then we see scenes from all the previous movies of the breakup scene. In the, in the intro, it's like cut up in the, like the actual like, credits of the movie. Like I'm getting those Christmas feels in a perspective. That see, that's good. It's good. It's that's fun. That's good. That's just fun. You want to know what I've also been thinking about? Like a lot. What's like, <laughs> been taking up my, a lot of my headspace since we've done the, we did the Santa Squad video? Sure. Why? 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 Why are there not? Why are there not? Why is there not a Christmas season of Power Rangers? I'm talking like Santa Zordon. Sure. And like they all have all of their like mechs are uh or their Holiday zords themed? are like Christmas no they're like toys. Like you got like train zord, like toy train yeah, zord, like, like to all the like doll zord, like and they all like turn it like why sure, is sure. and they're all kind of like you know Chris like one of them like the blue ranger is like Jack Frost. You know like it's just I I've been thinking it's been taking up way too much of my headspace. Well, I mean if it's it, completely if it, unrelated but if anyone's reading the comic books of Power Rangers, I highly recommend it. They are amazing. And my first pull every week when they pop out, they are that good. They could pull it off. Okay. I didn't realize Yo, you were Boom reading. Yo, Boom Studios, hit us up. Yeah, we got a story idea for the Rangers. I'm, I'm it's really you, good. That could be like just a six-month run. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, like, just, like a, just a little bit up to Christmas. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, a miniseries. It's a little miniseries. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But just, it'd be so fun. Oh, man. Just like Christmas themed Power Ranger costumes. Yeah, man. Oh. I'm with you. The Red Rangers like kind of got like a peppermint motif. Oh, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. And this time around. Yeah. The, there's no, like, there's like a Green Ranger situation. Sure, yeah. They're the Black Ranger because they're cold. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, because then Green Ranger's like mistletoe. mistletoe. Yeah. Because like you just do a little uh, bit of yep. a swap there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm saying, I, I think we could storyboard that out. I think we could sell the hell out of that. Very easily. Jake, <laughs> how would you rate uh, the trailer for A Christmas Scavenger Hunt? A Christmas, Christmas Scavenger Hunt is getting, is getting 7 out of 7. Cryptic Illuminati Christmas case. <laughs> there was a clue in this video for our Christmas Scavenger Hunt. Can you find it? Let us know. Down below in the comments section, and hey, while you're down there, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Do that YouTube that you do so well. Guacamole is extra, you Christmas Power Rangers, you weirdos, you. What would the Yellow Ranger be? Figgy pudding? Yes. Eggnog. Oh, yeah, it would be <laughs> eggnog. Yeah. What, would be the, what would be the, you know, it's like, it's morphin' time. Or what would be the, what would be the call? Oh. It's like, time for, time for, like, they, they always have a... They're like, it's time to make the Yuletide bright! And then, <laughs> and, then and Pink Ranger's still pterodactyl. Sorry. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Pink Ranger's just normal Pink Ranger. Because she's the toy Pink Ranger. Oh, She's got all meta. the toy mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. accents, sure. you know? Mm-hmm. She, but she's, like, she's classic she's fully Pink articulate. Ranger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fully articulated classic Pink Ranger. Absolutely. We just wrote it. We just did it. Boom Studios. This is the longest one we've ever done. It is. But worth it. <laughs> How do you guys rate this trailer? And what do you think of our meta uh, Christmas season holiday movies for 2022? <sighs> also, let us know down below. But while you're down there, please click this video right here. Do it. Right here. We would uh, click this. We would appreciate it as much as we appreciate you sticking through all of this one. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.